U21, das Verhör mit Clemens Nicol und Markus Waller. Name? CM. Charlie CM. <lacht> Place of Birth? London. London. Instrument? Guarneri del Gesù. Oh. Guarneri. It's a violin. It's a violin, yeah. Sorry. A violin, exactly. Made by Guarneri del Gesù. Uh, any police records? No. Sure? Sure, yeah. Sure. Dir wird folgendes vorgeworfen, Charlie. Violinendekadenz, Tätigkeit als ein Amateurmodel und schlechter Sänger. Deine Eltern sind reich, Charlie. Du könntest dich auch zurücklehnen und sagen, ich habe ein sorgenloses Leben und ich studiere ohne finanzielle Schwierigkeiten. Wo kommt deine Motivation her? Well, it's a good question. You know, um, I suppose my motivation initially comes from the inspiration that music gave me. You know, I was inspired to work at the violin, to get better, to be able to play the music that I loved as well as I can. And then you learn through this process that happiness comes from discipline. Happiness comes from working at something and achieving a goal. It doesn't come from rich parents giving you a nice life so you can sit back and do nothing, because then you're going to be unhappy. So, um, so I've been very lucky to have had the music and this drive to achieve something, because this gives me meaning in my life. Der nächste Vorwurf, Charlie, Fashion Victim. Karl Lagerfeld sagt, wer Jogginghosen trägt, hat die Kontrolle über sein Leben verloren. Haben wir da einen Trend verpennt? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a bold statement from Mr. Lagerfeld. I, I wouldn't say I'm a fashion victim. I'd say that I, um, I definitely like to think I have my own style, but I don't follow fashion. And I think, I think as a violin player, it's almost an athletic thing, you know. And we've been rehearsing today all, almost all day, sweating, you know. Like, so I got to dress like an athlete to go out there and absorb the sweat and the energy and be able to move freely and get the best out of it. So that's why I'm in the sports clothes. <laughs> You're a sporty guy. I don't know if I'm a sporty guy, but I'm, you know, and I like the transition, I like the change, you know. I'm in the rehearsal, I'm working, I'm focusing, I'm wearing my tracksuit. Then I go on the stage and I put on my suit and you know i'm ready for action in a different way it's the real thing when i go on stage you know du ziehst doch die jogginghose eher an wenn du zu hause bist oder ja yeah. so what do you wear at home because uh, clemens he puts on his jogging pants when he's at home to yeah. relax so yeah. what's your your home dress yeah i wear a dressing gown a dressing gown that's what i wear it's the most easy practical thing for me you know doesn't take long to put it on doesn't take long to take it off oh, okay. verstanden? no ich auch nicht <laughs> what 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 are you wearing at home? A dressing gown. Gown? Dressing gown. <laughs> what is that in German? A dressing gown. gown. What's that in German? Do you know? Uh, it's like Badenhoben. Ah. A gown. gown. Like a yeah. A bathrobe. Bath. 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 Like a bath. Bath. Oh. In England, in English, it's a dressing gown. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What's a gown. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. A bathrobe. In British English, maybe British, yeah. we, we don't know. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Geigendekadenz. Charlie, du spielst eine Guarneri-Geige, die Jo Di Menuhin schon mal gespielt hat. Super Geige plus ein Geist, der in dieser Geige wohnt, nämlich der von Menuhin. Du kannst also nur gut spielen, oder? Um, not necessarily. I think there's, um, you know, these great violins have incredible potential. They have incredible uh possibilities um, but you need to understand how to use the instrument it's like with a great stallion you know a wild horse you have to understand how to use this horse how to get the best out of it uh, it's the same with a violin 
Fühlst du, wenn du spielst, immer noch Menuhins Präsenz? I don't know if I feel his presence in the violin. He didn't play it for a long time. He played it for a few years in the 70s. Um, and uh, I've probably played it now longer than he did, actually. So I don't feel Menuhin's presence, but I think just psychologically, the, you know, knowing that this great legend had it in his hands means something to me. But now you kicked out his spirit and replace it with yours. Every violinist along the way, they've got to make it theirs, you know. Nächster Vorwurf, schlechter Sänger. Charlie, der singende Anteil der Geige ist dir sehr wichtig. Wer singt be besser, deine Geige oder du? That's why I chose the violin, because I couldn't sing, so I had to find something else that could sing for me. And that's the violin, you know, it's an extension of my neck. And then I make a sound from this wooden box. Singst du, wenn du übst dir manchmal was vor? Not really, but sometimes I do think to myself, how would this sound if I sang it, if I sang it, you know, if I think of a phrase and I think if I was going to sing it and I hear in my head how it would sound. I don't always do it physically because then maybe it would sound worse, but in my head I have an idea of what a phrase might sound like if it was sung and then that informs what I will do on the instrument. You're, you're singing in your mind. Yeah, I'm a wonderful singer in my mind. Can you give us something of it? So okay, I'll do it now, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you get that? That was beautiful, that was right? Terrible. That was terrible. Oh, that was, oh, no. <laughs> I found it nice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You got it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, you see? Yeah, cool. We're on Just a wavelength. Just a matter of taste, yeah. We're on a wavelength, <laughs> you see? Yeah. Oh, Charlie. Mm. Illegal gun possession. What's about that? Yeah, well, oh. you, I was photographed just at the wrong moment as my hand touched the gun, you're right. Sagen Sie mal, gell? Yeah. This is a Barretta, Marcus. Aus mm. Italian. Well, I'll tell you the story that I was playing a concert for the family who owns Beretta in Milan. And that's what was and your, it was your in payment? Their, yeah, and then afterwards they took me to the show them their store. Thank you. And they, no, and they were showing me the incredible, you know, all the stuff they have there. And that's where this picture was taken. Yeah. <laughs> But you own a Beretta now? I don't, unfortunately, no. Or in fortunately, your violin probably. case? No, not the last time I checked, I don't know. Unless you put one in there. Unless you're sort of setting me up here. Naja, müssen wir später noch mal in den Kasten gucken. Ja. Äh, nervt dich das manchmal, dass du so gut ausschaust? Äh, geht dir das selber irgendwie auf den Sack? <lacht> I don't know. I mean, I am what I am, you know. Charlie, wir haben gehört, dass du ein Rollenangebot für Hollywood nicht akzeptiert hast, und zwar die Rolle von Christian Grey, Shades of Grey. Du wärst die Idealbesetzung, jung, gut aussehend, musikalisch talentiert, reich. Hast du es einfach beim Casting verkackt? I missed the casting. I didn't know about it. No one told me. Yeah. I think this here was the casting. <lacht> that was the casting. Well, I guess I didn't do well enough in that moment, you know. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless, you know. Speechless? Yeah. This, uh, this makes me speechless too. Yeah. Uh, Lady Gaga. Yeah. You played at her party? I or? played at her party, yeah, a few years ago. And, um, good party? It was a pretty good party. It was a great party, actually. And uh, I played a little bit and then she sang afterwards. And together? Not together, though. Not together. Mm. But it can... Next time. Happen. Next time, yeah. Why not? Why not? So how did it look on the front? On the front? That was sort of the same. 
bit on the front. Oh, yeah. oh, very, yeah. very sort of minimal. 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 <laughs> yeah. You can play minimal music too. And that, yeah, exactly. Uh, that, that would be nice. That would be a good, okay. good combination. Wir kommen zum Kreuzverhör, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga or Miley Cyrus? Lady Gaga. Wine or Champagne? Wine. Dollar or Euro? Dollar. Hugo or Boss? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Facebook or Twitter? Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. God. Ja. Markus, ich weiß auch nicht. Er macht es immer freundlich, freundlich lächelnd, äh, bringt er sich da immer raus. Ne? Äh, äh, ja. Aber es ist, die Masche ist sehr durchschaubar, finde ich. Ja. Aber sie ist gut. Sie ist gut. Ja. Man kann schauen die an, schauen die an. Nee. Ja. Ja. So. What do you think? I'm okay? Ja. Yeah. Yeah. For passed. this time. This time. This okay. time. Statement under oath. It's in German, so just sign it, please. Just sign it, okay. Oh. This is signing my life away. There we go. <laughs> oh. so now, the, the Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> U21, Good. das war Sorry, we didn't get to use this. Yeah. Zum Anschauen und als Videopodcast unter brklassik.de.